So we don't do anything with this. This is for show. Oh, these are the codes. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I thought we were doing like TV magic, like them putting it together. No, no, we're oh. doing it live. Oh my God. Justin Warner here with funny person and writer and comedian, Samantha Ruddy, and today we're gonna eat the universe. Today we're gonna make an Ant-Man inspired dish. It's gonna be a tiny ice cream cone. How do you feel about tiny ice cream cones? Uh, I love tiny things and I love ice cream, so I feel like this is truly my day to be here. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad I could uh, provide that. We are gonna start by making the batter for the cone. So uh, first things first, I've got some butter. You wanna put it in the bowl? Yeah, let's do Why it. Why not, all right. All right you can get your hands dirty. My grandpa who worked in a coal mine would really think that I'm getting my hands very dirty right now. <laughs> oh yeah? Where was it? It was actually it was my great grandpa and in northeastern Pennsylvania. I see, like Scranton? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Do you think if Ant Man relocated to Scranton, he would go by Scranton Man? <laughs> I sure hope so. And we're gonna use 10x powdered sugar. Got it. You know why it's called 10x? No. Because it's it's run through the ringer ten times to make it even smaller oh, wow. than normal sugar. Okay. Right? It's been pulverized. So it's ant sugar. Basically ant sugar. Got it. Um, so let's give that a mix. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, it's great. You see how you're kind of like, you've, you've really integrated the butter into the sugar and that? Yeah, it looks like blue cheese or like feta. I love it. So we'll add the egg white. You want to incorporate that? You yes, I would, love, I would love nothing more than to incorporate the egg white. All right, let's add some flour. And from here, I'll, I'll take over. I don't, you don't have to get your hands completely <laughs> okay. dirty. Okay, so Ant-Man has the wasp. Yes. I feel like the wasp keeps Ant-Man like in, in check, you know? Like, yeah. I, I feel like otherwise he might get a big head about it. I feel like as far as like Marvel characters with big heads go, he's like right under Tony Stark. I don't know, the, Doctor Strange is a little bit arrogant too, oh, right? Oh, super arrogant, but I feel like it's in a different way. It's mm. like in an introverted way, whereas I feel like Ant-Man and Tony would be like way more fun at a party. Right. And also way more likely to talk about themselves. I see, Doctor Strange would be like, with the dog. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, he'll be like telling the dog how amazing he is. Right. All right, now I'm gonna add to this okay. a pinch of salt. Let's do it. A pin oh my God. <laughs> Did I even make any in the bowl? <laughs> Barely. Okay. You well, got some in. This is a pipette of vanilla. Got it. And I like pipettes because they're not pipes. They're not pipes. They're smaller pipes. Some would say an ant pipe. Indeed, an ant-sized pipe. And we know that they are smaller pipes because of the diminutive suffix, et. Got it. Please, do the honors. All right, let's do it. Squirt. <laughs> All right. So uh, we will mix this up and then uh, from there, put these onto a uh, sheet tray. How do you feel about this? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So why don't you scoop a, uh, a glob of that okay. and we'll do one, two, three. All right, so I, I've moistened my finger. Okay. And then I'm just gonna kind of smear this out like a finger DJ. Got it. Do you think this is how Ant-Man DJs? Just yeah. like with one tiny finger? <laughs> Ant-Man on the ones and twos. <laughs> so as you smooth this out, as a comedian, do you generally go micro or do you go macro? I go pretty micro. Yeah? I, I like the specific. Mm. Even if it's macro and I think it's relatable to other people, I think the funny is always in like, when you get so specific, people are like, oh wow, I didn't even realize other people also, you know? The devil's in the details. Exactly. So these are gonna go into the oven for five minutes and 30 seconds exactly. Because okay. if you're going to make cones or cornets, they cook very quickly. Okay. And we need them to be pliable. Okay, so no, they can't be too cooked. Exactly. Got it. All right, here we go. So these are cornet molds. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap those discs around here and that's gonna okay. give us our cone shape. Oh, okay, see I was guessing that we were gonna put them inside and I had a 50-50 shot of being right and I wasn't, so. That'll teach you to gamble. You like small things. I do like small things. Why do you like small things? I like small things because they are light and easy to carry. Mm. I am uh, very lazy and uh, I don't like heavy things. I don't like big things because they require more effort. I see. What is the smallest set you've ever like done? Like smallest how set? Oh, yeah. one time I had to do a one minute set. Really? Yeah, I was in a competition and it was like uh, an air horn went off like 45 seconds in and uh, then you either got eliminated or you kept going. Wow, all right, so I have one more question for you. Yeah. What is a, the timer? Do we, oh no, I said <laughs> sorry. They're very hot, but they are also very pliable. 
Oh, yeah. God. Then we're going to store it seam side Do down. Do you have fingerprints? No. You would make a great Ant-Man. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, he's all about breaking into things. No fingerprints, that'd be perfect. Oh, yeah, it's starting to get crispy. I can feel it. I'm not working fast enough. Let's go, uh -oh. let's go, let's go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Do we get it? Do we get it? Do we get it? Do we get it? We got it. We got it. We got it. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. We're gonna have to top this cone to make it look really cool. Okay. Right? So I can't we, wait. we've got sprinkles. We've got a tiny little bag of whipped cream. And then we have raspberries. Do you know why we have raspberries? Because I'm allergic to most other fruit. Well, that's true. But also because they don't make micro cherries. And I want this to have a cherry on top. So here's what we're gonna do. Watch very carefully. What? It's nice to have an effect, right? Yes. Yeah, they were, they were just frozen raspberries. You're a witch. <laughs> you want to try one? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. They have a very unique flavor. Oh, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it was frozen. Yeah, it did. It was really good. So we just froze regular raspberries. Frozen raspberries, I find normally, the ones that come frozen, do not do this as well. Okay. But yeah, so we've broken the raspberry up into all these little parts and they're gonna be the little cherry on top of our micro cone. All right, now we're gonna make micro sprinkles. No. Well, these sprinkles are, would Stop look it. gigantic. And so I've kind of been to the quantum realm and I've learned there that sprinkles are actually made up of tinier sprinkles. Really? Just watch. Micro sprinkles. I have a question for you. Why do you call them jimmies? Why do I call them jimmies? Yeah. I don't call them jimmies. Who does? Nobody. People do, they call them jimmies. No, I, here's the thing. I think jimmies is cute, it's very cute, but also, we're not friends, Sprinkles. I'm not gonna call you jimmies. Like, right. You're, you're James to me, if anything. <laughs> James. This like kind of looks like the Thanos dust, but like if a unicorn was evaporated. <laughs> okay, let's decorate these uh, cones, shall we? Okay, let's do it. Cool. To complete the look, we're gonna use strawberry ice cream. Okay. You know why we're using strawberry? Why? Guess. Because I'm allergic to most other fruits. There you go. But also because it looks better on camera. I'm a two scoops sort of guy. I'm a I'm a I'm a two scoop kind of gal. I'm gonna I'm gonna top mine with a little whipped cream. It's very beautiful white head of hair we are giving to our ice cream. Let's decorate our ice cream cone with these tiny sprinkles. On it. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm impressed. All right, and now it's time to put our tiny piece of red fruit on top. It doesn't really have the same ring to it. No, but I won't die. Exactly. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Thanks. It's like I'm playing Operation, I know, I but know. there's no stakes. My nose will turn red and I'll vibrate and <laughs> mess up. You can do it, you can do it. Amazing. We got it. Amazing. So, now that we have painstakingly crafted these tiny ice cream cones in honor of Ant-Man, let's eat them in like two bites. Let's do it. To the tasting table. Welcome to the table of taste. It's gonna be here. Great, we're gonna eat first and ask questions later because this food will melt. Let's do it. Okay. That's my motto always. Do you want to cheers? Cheers. Ah, oh, shucks. All right, here we go. All right. Mmm. It's really good. Yeah. And we're almost done. We took one, <laughs> one bite and we're halfway I'm, done. I'm, 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 I might be a three biter. Oh, really? Yeah. Mmm. I actually think the cone to ice cream ratio is more in balance mm -hmm. than with your standard macro cone. Well, we uh, ate that dish so quickly, uh, we're just sitting here with a bowl of sprinkles. I bet I can get one in your mouth. Nope. Oh! Luckily, I have protective eyewear. All right, I'm gonna throw three. Because <laughs> one of them will go effect. in. Shotgun effect, Yeah, right. shotgun. Oh. oh my god, I got all three in! You did. Wow, my uvula <laughs> thanks you. Samantha, um, this has been brief. This has been brief, but lovely. Thank you. Like the best things in life. If we want more, not of ice cream cones, but of you, where oh, do we me. find you? Uh, you can find me on my website, samanthawright.com. I'm also on Twitter, at Sam Lee Matters. It oh, is a pun. Very creative. Uh, and then you can watch my stand-up. I did stand-up on the Late Show with Stephen Colbert earlier this year. And so if you just type my name and Colbert, and that'll come up. Wow. 
That must be nice. It was very cool. Yeah? Yeah, it was the highlight of my life. Samantha, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This was a real laugh. I had so much fun, and uh, I learned so much about tiny ice cream cones. Well, mission accomplished. That's all we've got for Eat the Universe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>